Okay, um, this is uh, part of the campaign to get rid of the billboards in St. Warburg's. Uh, it's been going since 2004. Um, basically, there's 13 billboards up through the centre of, of our area, St. Warburg's, and they look a bloody mess. Uh, and they attract dumping and they attract litter. And, uh, and we sort of noticed that uh, there aren't any billboards at White Ladies Road and, and other parts of Bristol like that. So we thought, well, well, why do we have to put up with them, you know? So we did a bit of research and we found that one of them was actually illegal, um, that, that most of them are really badly placed, you know, they're next to residential areas. These here are in a conservation area, you know, conservation areas are supposed to be the most attractive areas of our city. Now, why is the council letting these three boards sit in the conservation area? It's ridiculous. They also cause the accidents. Um, there's been six accidents. This is the most dangerous part of St. Warburg's here. There's been six accidents in the past two years. Uh, except for the motorway, this is the most dangerous spot. And part of it must be because people are distracted by the boards. Um, the, uh, the, the boards are, are owned by advertising companies. Some own the land as well, but some are owned by local landowners. And we're trying to work with them to persuade them that we, we have to get rid of them. Um, we've already got rid of two. There were two by the railway embankment down the far end of St. Warburg's. The, the illegal one has now unfortunately gone. It only took 25 years. Um, and another one has gone where the, where the advertising companies tried to put up with another one. And the council finally acted and said you can't do that. And that was removed as well. So the far end looks quite nice. It's nice green space. But this end of St. Warburg's is, is really blighted. We want to see Ivy Church behind here. It's 200 years old. Uh, we want a few trees, you know, we don't we don't want to be every time we go past every day We we, we see these boards with their horrible messages uh, Which aren't even aimed at people living around here. They're aimed at the drivers stuck in traffic uh, Every rush hour, you know twice a day. So yeah, we want these boards gone. We're, we're a legal Organization we, we we're going to put every sort of pressure to make sure they're gone and um, 93% of people in St. Warburg's, um, when surveyed, said they would like the billboards gone. We've got a petition now, this time of 1,300. The previous time we did a petition with 800 signatures. We're getting towards most of the population of St. Warburg's. It's about time that the uh, council listened, the planners listened, and more importantly, the local landowners listened and, and acknowledged that they have to bow to local will and start to improve our area. Um, I'm here today as part of a 24 hour vigil um, yeah. in a campaign to take down the billboards just yeah. behind me. There are three billboards covering a beautiful church. Yeah. They're advertising products that we don't actually need and are really unsuitable for our kids and for a multicultural, multicultural community. Um, I'm going to be here all night. Anybody wants to join in, come down, sing song, give me chess, whatever. See you then. Lately I've been having conversations She's been giving me direction Now I started dancing to a different tune And my eyes have new reflections It's coming with the river It's whispered on the tide Sunrise is shouting Go on, take a ride It's crashing through the rain Listen closely, there's a buzzing in the trees And a change is on the way My body tingles with an internal breeze Blowing all the past away It's coming with the river It's whispered on the tide Sunrise is shouting, go on, take the ride It's crashing through the rainstorms The answer's in your mind <laughs> Sorry about that. I uh, take 17. <laughs> I'm going to sleep. <laughs>
Listen closely, there's a buzzing in